Welcome to Wednesdays with West, where we answer all of your Ask MWR questions from the previous race weekend. During the Cobalt 400 at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, Brian Vicker's wife, Sarah, asked how we determine fuel mileage with no fuel gauge in the car. Well, Sarah, fuel mileage is always an estimation. During the practice sessions before the race, we pack this 18 and a half gallon fuel cell full of fuel. Then we'll make a 10, 20, 30 lap fuel run, come back in, fill the car up, and weigh how much fuel we put in it. We'll do that all through the practice sessions and all through the race. That gives us an idea of what the fuel mileage is on the car. It's all about the loud pedal. The louder it is, the more fuel you're burning. Uh, you know, under cautions and things like that, you really gotta pay attention. The gearing, you know, what gear you're in. Don't lug it too much, because then you're, you know, lugging fuel in it. If you're in second or third gear and it's too many RPM, obviously you're, you're using too much fuel there. So you just really gotta listen to your engine. Um, and listen to that loud pedal. Brian Vickers, enormous question marks for him in regard to fuel mileage. Goodbye, Welcome buddy. back Thank to Victory Lane. Bye, Vickers Ford. wins it at New Hampshire. Come out again. Betty Clark wrote us in on Facebook. She wanted to know if we ever get any time to get away from the track and do anything fun. Let's see what Clint Boyer does when he's not at the racetrack. Here lately, I've been not taking the motor home as much, actually going into the city, staying in a motel, and just taking it all in. The first several years that I was in the sport, you know, you go to the track, you'd stay in your motor home, you'd never leave. Not to go eat dinner, nothing. All your appearances are at the track, so it's kind of been fun here lately to get out and check things out. This weekend, me and a bunch of the 55 guys went mountain biking when we were in Las Vegas. Other guys like to go play basketball, and we always try and sample the local cuisine and eat out at uh, local restaurants. Randy Smith wanted to know if anybody's ever been seriously injured or cars damaged by flying lug nuts on pit road. Now what Randy means, when these lug nuts hit the ground and these cars peel out of these stalls, they send these little things flying. And when they hit you, they hurt. Not only can they chip teeth and break skin, but they can also spark on the ground, igniting any spilled fuel. So I'm really looking forward to getting to Bristol. We do run well there in, in past history. Um, my favorite racetrack. It's so much fun to compete there. I mean, it's a coliseum. The fans, the the uh, the atmosphere is second to none in any venue we go to. So hoping for big things. Hope we'll be on top of that Goodyear building celebrating. You had the questions and MWR gave you the answers. Be sure to ask MWR this weekend on our Facebook and Twitter accounts as we head to Bristol Motor Speedway for the first short track race of the 2014 season.